guys welcome back to my channel so um, I just filmed uh, my uh, third episode of getting comfortable with color and I just removed the lip that I had on for that and now I'm going to be doing the requested brand um, for my liquid lipstick review series of the lip land um, and this is one of the Amrezi Amrezi I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong this is in the color Montenegro um, I did finally get my vanity back from Halloween however now I just have a stack of products right here for my giveaway which will be there um, until the end of the month. I have a small two bedroom apartment in the city so space is very limited so I don't really have anywhere else to put them. So just like always guys I exfoliated my lips with my Eva Anderson lip scrub and actually since I just took it off I haven't moisturized my lips so let me just put a little on. I'm gonna put a little of this on and I'm gonna let it set in for a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back and take it off. I want to make sure I do the same thing for all of them. I'll be back. So now I've let that sit on for um, some time, I'm going to go in and just wipe off the excess. I think my OCC lip liner and Black Dahlia matches this color perfectly, so now I'm just gonna line my lips. And now I'm just gonna fill in my lips, which I'll zoom in for. This is also gonna be a first impressions because I literally just opened it from the box it came in. This is what the packaging looks like on it. It just says Lip Land, it has the color name on the bottom. Just like always guys, in my first check-in, I'll give you the price and the weight and all those details. So this smells like cupcakes. Mmm. Vanilla cupcakes. And, and now I'm just going to fill in my lips. These are very creamy, very moisturizing. It went on a little streaky in some areas, um, just because I only tried to dip it in once, so when I went back in with more, it's good. And you can see it's a little lighter. It's going to go back in just with a little, little more. There we go. I think this color is freaking beautiful. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'm going to give this a total of 8 hours worth of wear. I will not retouch this. I will not apply a gloss. I will leave my lips as is for the next eight hours. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then the last check-in in the additional four hours. I'm just going to go about my daily activities and we'll see how this holds up. And just like always, guys, on my first check-in, I give you guys all the details, the shipping, the times, the cost, the weight, all of that good stuff. Um, while this is starting to dry down, it went on really moisturizing, which made me think it wasn't going to dry, actually. And now I can feel it. it's starting to get a little tacky. So guys, it's currently 1.13. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, so it's 5.21, four hours after initial application of this. I'm going to zoom in to show you the wear. I already don't like these. While they went on really creamy and hydrating, um, it took a little while for them to dry down, but now I find them kind of tight feeling. That makes sense i don't know they're definitely not up there and comfort for me around the border it kind of almost looks like it's starting to bleed and i have not eaten anything with this wear the only thing i've had is half a chai tea through a straw uh, i'm going to eat dinner in a little bit so i'll show you it's so crazy to me right now that i'm doing my first check-in because it's dark out normally that's my last one but the winter so let me zoom in and show you so if you guys can see right in here See kind of how it looks like it's feathering? And right in here looks a little crusty. Now for some details on these. So I have never heard of Lipland before. Um, I see now that they're teaming up with some social media personalities. Um, Amrezi, Amrezi, I don't know how to say that. So if I'm saying it wrong, I'm, which I'm sure I am, um, forgive me. There are eight colors in total from Lipland for their liquid lipsticks three of which are part of her collection. She has this Montenegro, which is where she's from. There is um, a nude color, and then, I forgot what the other one was. I'll show a picture somewhere right around here for the shades that are available. I find there to be a lot of pink shades, like versions of pinks. Not a very wide selection if you're looking for different color nudes or like, I don't know, bright reds, I, I don't know. I ordered this on 1025. I got a notification on 1026 that it had shipped. 
and it was delivered on 1029 via USPS, the Postal Service. The cost of these is $18.99. Uh, shipping was free, so with the tax, the total of this came to $20.41. You are getting 0.1 ounce of product in here, which, well, you guys know Lime Crime are some of my favorite. These you're getting more than the Lime Crime, but less than most of these other brands that are available. These are made in the USA, which I think is cool. Uh, this shipped from Simi Valley, California, which is down uh, towards the LA area. These are sulfate free, which sulfate is really just salt. Um, so I don't know why that would really matter in a lip product. I can tell you uh, normally when I think of salt, I think of drying and these are still very dry. So to me, that doesn't really mean much. Uh, sometimes they're just buzzwords to put like chemical free, this free, salt free, PBA free. This is PBA free, gluten free, claim no animal testing on these, which is nice. One of my viewers has asked me to start including information about the ingredients on here, uh, which is always nice to know. So, um, oh, and real quick guys, this is the packaging it came in. It came in a big, like just a regular shipping box with this in here, which I think was really cute. It reminds me of like some kind of Easter candy or something, like a carrot maybe, like those little greasy pieces can carrots or something. I don't know. It's really cute. Um, the ingredients on, uh, are on the back here. So um, the first ingredient, actually the main ingredient in here is a solvent. Uh, it really helps with spreadability in products. It also helps prevent uh, water evaporation from whatever you put it on in it. Also, this chemical in particular feels like um, really lightweight on the skin. It has synthetic polymers in here binding agents, thickening agents, some emollients. There's nothing in here that gives me any uh, cause for concern on wearing this on my lips. There is a jar on here with the open symbol letting you know the shelf life after opening, which is 18 months. I'm kind of bummed that this is wearing this way because I really, really do like this color. So my last check-in guys, I will like always do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof. I will also show if they layer well given where it's worn away. And I am curious actually to take it off on camera too because I went and redid my nails. I wanted some matte black nails and uh, my company, one of the companies I work for just came out with a matte gel top coat, which I was like, awesome. Because I only like to wear gel on my nails because it stays shiny and hard and it doesn't chip. Most of the time, sometimes it doesn't matter on acrylic nails, but I still just love to wear gel on my nails. So um, I have the matte top coat on. But anyway, where I swatched it on my hand earlier today to find a matching lip liner, I was like scrubbing it with a lip brush and it's still, it's like kind of stained my hand if you can see right there. So I'm curious to see how these will come off my lips, which in all honesty, I didn't think it would be that much because even though where I haven't eaten, it's like icky. I will let you guys know what I think after I eat some food and after my last check-in of the night I'm gonna go try to edit a haul video I just did for you guys um, to try to get some things up for you guys so I'll see you soon hey guys so it's 9 24 it's about 10 minutes longer than the initial eight hours after application I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys the wear. Um, I had some um, beef stir fry, so I ate off a fork um, with just vegetables and some chicken. I always cut my food up into bite-sized pieces. The spots that I have been the most uncomfortable is right on these corners, like I keep getting the urge to lick them. And it's odd because it went on so comfortable and like kind of like a gel consistency. It felt so like cushiony and nice. Once it's like really worn away on this inside part from, I mean, it was already wearing away before I even ate anything, it feels a little less tight. Like I think those pieces kind of gave way and it doesn't, it's not as uncomfortable actually as it was during my first check-in, if that makes sense. See how it's like, looks like it's kind of bleeding right here. So oh, as always guys, where I rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test. So since I still have the stain on the back of my hand from where I swatch this, I'm going to try on the back of this hand. Nothing on the back. Transfer. Okay. Now let me try layering these and for that I will zoom in. So let's just go over.
I know. Let me show you. Right down here, it's like... Can you see that? Where it's like started to feather? These didn't layer bad. I have some chunks um, from where it was like peeling that I'll show you. So there's a few little chunks right here you can see. Okay. I have my list printed out. For those of you keeping score, I'm gonna leave the list right here. So I'm gonna tie these with the Black Moon Cosmetics that I tried. Um, I actually was going to put this, even though they're tied, above the Black Moon Cosmetics, but I found the Black Moon Cosmetics one very comfortable to wear, while these I don't. I don't. I don't find these comfortable to wear at all. Um, I was going to give these a few more points because they were a few dollars cheaper than the Black Moon Cosmetics, but um, I, I, I don't like these. I'm going to put them in my yellow zone because they do layer well, and if I was thinking of this as just a regular lipstick in a tube, like compared to a MAC lipstick or something and I was wearing this, I would like it. But as a liquid matte long wearing lipstick, I do not like these. I don't like them at all. And as I've just layered that second layer, it's so dry. I'm like, and when I lick my lips, it's honestly, it feels like there's a piece of velvet or suede on my lips if that makes any sense. Which I think suck because I really, really liked this color. So I dug through my collection and I am building up my Makeup Monster collection and I don't have anything that's like this in there, but let me show you this. So on the top here, I'm going to put the Montenegro. And then this is Kat Von D's uh, Exorcism. This is one of the um, fairly new colors I've picked up. So see that right there? I feel like those two colors are pretty similar. Very, very, very similar. Um, as you guys know, Kat Von D are in my green zone. They rank very high for me. So if it's this color that you love, I would get Kat Von D Exorcism. Um, I think, I think Emrezi, Emrezi, again, I don't know. I think she's a very beautiful girl. Uh, I don't personally know her. Again, I don't like to speak ill of people's products, but uh, the colors are beautiful, but this formula just doesn't do it for me. Typically, when the social media people or whatever it is is teaming up with a brand to come out with their own color, they're not formulating it. All they do is they get to pick the colors off of some swatches, you know? So, mm. I, I don't like this formula. I will not be buying any more of those. The only reason this is not in the red zone is because it did not transfer on my face. That is basically it because the NYX ones were all over my face. The ColourPop ones felt like I had ground up glass and rubbed them on my lips. I wanted to rip my lips off. And then the old formula of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got crumbly and flaky and horrible. I just did not like it at all. So I hope you guys found this review helpful. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I have like 20 more brands that I've been purchasing. You guys keep getting hitting me up on Instagram and YouTube, letting me know that there are other brands that you want me to try. So I try to pick them up. So right now I'm gonna need to try to uh, catch up on these liquid lipstick reviews. Cause as you know, it takes an entire day to do a brand. So I'm, I'm backlogged. <laughs> If you guys like this video and you are not subscribed already, please do so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.